Hey guys, it's Lior here. Welcome back to the Reading Project. Today, we're going to talk about someone very interesting. This inspirational person was an American modernist poet. Today, we're going to talk about Marianne Moore. I actually saw her exhibit at the Rosenbach Museum in Philadelphia. This exhibit is a duplicate of her apartment in New York City, so why not make a video about it? Let's get started. Marianne was born in November of 1887. She was born in Kirkwood, Missouri, a small town near St. Louis. Marianne never met her dad, therefore she was raised in her grandfather's house who was a Presbyterian pastor. In 1896, she and her family moved to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Over there, she attended Bryn Mawr College and received her bachelor's in histology and biology. After her graduation, she studied typing at Carlisle Commercial College. After her graduation of college, she was employed as a school teacher in Carlisle Indian School. Three years later, Marianne and her mom moved to New York City. Over there, she became an assistant at the New York Public Library. At the library, she began to meet other poets such as William Carlos Williams and Wallace Stevens. In 1925, she served as the acting director in a prestigious literary magazine called The Dial. That was when Marianne's poetry career truly started. In 1921, her first book, Poems, was published. She was widely recognized around town for her tricorn hat and black cape. She started getting awards, such as the National Book Award and the Pulitzer Prize. Marianne's specialty was shining a variety of ideas into one compact image. She loved exotic animals and a lot of her poems included animals. Also, she was a huge fan of professional baseball, especially the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Yankees. She truly admired Muhammad Ali, and she actually wrote linear notes to his record, I Am the Greatest. In 1967, Marianne noticed a beautiful tree in a small park in Brooklyn called the Caper Down Elm Tree. This tree was about to die, so Marianne had to do something about it. She decided to make a committee to help the tree and all the other trees. Because of Marianne's help, the tree is still there today. In 1972, Marianne died due to a stroke in New York City. She never married and always took care of her mom. Before I finish this video, I picked a poem by Mary Ann called I May, I Might, I Must. I picked this poem because it really inspired me to at least try and never quit. This is the poem. If you tell me why the fen appears impassable, I then will tell you why I think that I can get across it if I try. You guys, through all of my research, I have come to a conclusion that Mary Ann was always happy and positive. She really inspired other women to do what they loved doing. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye!